Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing good and staying sane throughout this quarantine and not just watching TV and spending time with your family and really taking advantage of this time um, being at home, even though it can get difficult. Um, so today uh, our art project is going to be another origami and since we did butterflies last time, I figured we'd do something like this, a dinosaur. So I'll be teaching you how to turn a sheet of paper into a dinosaur. First thing that we're gonna do is turn this into um, a square sheet. So we're going to take the corner, take the corner, the sheet and just fold it in half and try to get it like as, um, as lined up as possible so that the, the square is like pretty spot on. And also if you guys have um, was a post-it note that's already in the shape of a square, that could also work too. You can make a tiny dinosaur. Um, or if you just have regular paper in um, the size of a square, that would work too. Um, but yeah, but if not, you could just use regular paper. I'm just using green just because it's a dinosaur so it have more pop of color. And then you're gonna take this extra, you should end up with something like this. And then you're gonna take this extra piece and fold it um, back, back or forward either way. I just fold it back because I feel like it's easier for me to see um, the line. And line it up evenly as I go all the way across. And you should end up with something like this. And then you could, if you're gonna use scissors, you could just cut it already, but if not, um, I'm not gonna use scissors, so you're just gonna continuously fold it over just so it gets that crease perfectly, and then just go over it a few times and then fold it back the other way as well, just so that it's easier to rip. And then go ahead and rip it. Okay, so once you end up with something like this, you are going to fold these two corners together. up and try to line up the corners as much as possible. And then you should get something like this. So an X. And then once you do that, you're going to, the part that has the point, you're going to fold it that way in half. Try to line up the corners as much as possible so they're just even. Okay, and then once you do that, you're gonna open it up and then fold it again in the other direction. And then you should end up with, oh, you should end up with this. So line here, 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 and then one in the middle, and then same thing on the bottom. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to notice this line, this line, this line, and this line. Pinch this, oh, pinch this, and this. So it should look like that. And then pull your hands kind of together and you should end up with something like this. So, like that. And then you are going to take one to each side so you should end up with a diamond so if you want i'll redo it this way so maybe you guys could see it better this way so it's flat like this and then i'm going to take i'll put it in half and then push these together and end up with something like this and then take one side to either side now that you guys end up with something like this um, you're going to take the side that's open, so this side's open, this side is um, closed, and just take one, and you're going to um, fold this in, so 
just line it up with the center line and fold it. You should get something like this. So I just took this, it was straight like this, and I folded it in and I lined it up with the center line of the diamond. And then you're gonna do the same thing with this, this side. I'm just gonna as close to the middle as possible, um, just touching. So you should end up with this, and then you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side for these. Once you end up with something like this, so we just folded them in on both sides, it's still open. You're gonna take this, this uh, extra piece, and you're gonna fold it over. Um, so it'll look like this. And then you're gonna turn it around and flip, flip it over on the opposite side again. Okay. And then <clears throat> you're gonna open it up. So just open it up again. So <clears throat> once you open both sides up, um, this is where it gets a little tricky, but if you guys pass this part, you guys will be fine. You're gonna take the part that is open that we discussed this, just one of them, and you're going to flip it up like this. So it should look like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these these two sides, this side and this side, and you're going to fold them down. So try to align them with the middle as much as possible. So this is how it's going so far. And then just should look like that. Okay. It is a little difficult at first, um, but once you guys get it, I think this was probably the hardest um, part of it. Cause I, I kind of struggled with this part too. So now it should look like this and then you have the folds. I'm gonna open them up and we're gonna do the same thing that we did on this side, on this side. So open up the folds and then we're gonna take this and go up. difficult <laughs> and then you're just gonna hold it down try to get it as close to the center as possible just so that it's pretty even um, with the other side So then you should end up with both sides looking like this, and then this like that. Now that <clears throat> you are here, you're gonna take this front one and fold it down. So you should have this and then this right behind it, and it, this should look like that, okay? So then you're going to flip it over and you're going to fold this part and line it up with the middle of the line. So it should be about there. And this is what it should look like. So you have this, this piece that opens, and then these two. And then you have this just straight in the back. So now that you are at this point, you're going to put this back up and then fold it in the opposite side. So what you just did, um, you're gonna do the same thing, but just to the um, other direction. So now it's on the opposite side. Then you're going to open it and you're gonna see how it has that. And then you're going to 
it straight. Let's see. I'll try to get it back into that um, the original fold. Oh, like that. So you can try to get it like that, and then you're going to fold like that. So you should end up with something that looks like this. You wanna make sure you fold the lines as much as possible. Okay, so now that you're with something that looks like this, you're going to turn it to the side and then fold this piece like that okay and then you're going to open it back up and flip it around and then do the same thing in the same crease fold it for the same crease and then you're going to open it up and then you're going to oh, open this part up and sort of fold it outward like that. And then fold this. So you should end up with something like this. So at this point, this is the head and Right now it's kind of looking like a bird so we got to fix that so we're going to make the nose and fold it um you can fold it as much as you want if you want it to be like a little bit more pointy um, i feel like dinosaurs mouths are like a little bit more round i don't know but fold it that way and then turn it and then fold it again in the opposite direction but with the same crease okay and then you're going to, on the bottom, that piece that you folded, you're going to push it in like that. And then you're gonna fold it back down. So it should look like this. And that's the head so far to the dinosaur. Next, we're gonna do um, the little hands. I'm guessing we're doing a T-Rex because this is what it kind of looks like. So this part right here in the middle, you're going to uh, open it down the middle and sort of push it in. Oh, push it in a little bit so that a little piece of it comes out. So that you can see the little hands like that so what I did is this was like this I pushed it in a little bit you don't want to push it in all the way because then you won't be able to see the hands at all you just want to make sure that a little point is still out so they look like little hands so now so far it kind of just looks like a bird <laughs> But now what we're going to do is you're going to take, okay, so there's three of these. So you're going to take one of them, okay, and you're going to fold it down like so, okay. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, you want to try to make it as even as possible, so what I would do is just line it up with the other leg. Okay, so now it's starting now it's starting to look like more like a dinosaur a little bit. Now what you want to do is with this leg we're going to fold it up like okay, so it's like this. You're gonna fold it back and up like that. Okay, and then you're gonna fold this back down again. Like like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, just in case you guys didn't get it the first time. So we're going to fold it back 
like that. So, and like that, and then we're gonna fold it back like that. Okay. And then you're gonna take this same piece and then fold it back down. You keep the same fold though, so you could hold it there. And there you go, we have a dinosaur. I hope you guys enjoyed this origami um, lesson and you guys have fun with it and maybe teach your siblings or show your parents like what you made today. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. I had fun, I liked making these. Uh, it took me a little bit just to learn it, but um, I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it more. Um, so I feel like you guys will definitely be able to get the hang of it and get better at it as we go. Um, but I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying your time and practicing social distancing and um, yeah, just having fun while we have this time at home and I, I can't wait to see you guys.